Yeah. I've known you for a long time. Yeah. But I didn't know you could sing, so you can bell out a tune. Aye. A lot of people don't know that. So were you a singer before you were an actress? Um, well, I sang before. When I was in school, we didn't have a drama department, and so I sat, I, I kind of went through music. So uh -huh. I, I sang I sang classically as well. Did you? Like, not like to a really high level. I mean, kind of like higher, yeah, like, like kind of classical stuff. Like opera? That's why I'm excited about doing the Theatre Royal. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you do the Theatre Royal, <laughs> you'll, you'll let your... I literally, diva come well, out. I do Diva's Lament in the show, right? There and that's you go. a song from Spam a lot. Yeah. And it's all about whatever happened to my part. And it's like this Diva it's song, you know, and it's really funny. And at the end, there's like, <laughs> like a big note. <laughs> so and you're going to be milking the Theatre Royal. Oh, aye. 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 I mean, this is like, I'm a bit feared they might not let me in, though, because I might be being trainers. <laughs> do you think I'll get in? Imagine I never get in for my own show. <laughs> <laughs> Footwear's wrong. <laughs> Go home and change. Yeah. Not the night, doll. <laughs> but um, I, I'm so excited about playing the Theatre Royal. I've never played the Theatre Royal before. I think the Citizens and the and the Theatre Royal are the two ones that I've never I've never played in Glasgow. So it's exciting to go to a new a new venue. And I'm play not it. just saying this because you're sat here with me on the show this morning, but just speaking to you, your enthusiasm and your excitement surrounding the show. I think I need to be there. You're coming. I'm you going, are I, coming. I am. Oh my goodness, I'm, please. No, I'm coming. I, but I want to go to the Theatre Royal show because I want to see you do your diva right, thing. You need to dress smart. I'm only joking. By the way. <laughs> you do not. That is the joke. We did speak to, you know, my lovely, fabulous promoter, Mick Perrin. Yes. Worldwide, who are incredible. Um, I, I was kind of worried. I went, the Theatre Royal's in that, not dead posh. Like, <laughs> is my audience not going to be thinking the same as me? Like, will again? <laughs> Did they wear a ball gown but or something? No, and a dicky ball? Yeah, exactly. But their programme is so uh, varied now. You know, they've got so much. Because it used to be you went to the Theatre Royal to watch the ballet or the opera, a really classic piece of theatre, you know. But um, it's so diverse now and they've got so many, so many amazing comedians on as well. So I'm I can't, so glad I, you're coming no, in. I promise you, I am definitely coming to the show. I didn't know if I was going to be going, but now that I've spoke to oh, you, yay. and now that I've heard all about it, I need to see yay. this show. It's great. And do you know the thing as well that's really nice about it? It's not just a female. It's great that I've got big groups of women coming in. That's incredible, you know. But it's also lovely. There's a lot of couples. Aye. There's a lot of kind of mammies and grannies uh -huh. and, you know, f families. But, you know, it's over 16s because I do swear in it. That's allowed. That's a lot. Yeah, it's fun. It's funny. It's like colloquial swearing. So do, you, you know? do you find that there's a lot of men in the audience <laughs> yeah. or not? There is. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes you see them coming in going, Why am I here? Kind of being slightly, you know, taking with the bird kind of thing. <laughs> but they're howling. You oh, know? good. It's not. It's definitely not a, a kind of only female kind of topic. It's it's. You know, there's yeah. stories about having children, there's stories about parenthood, there's stories about weight that affects everyone, there's stories about appearance, uh, you know, image, and there's and it's just a, a really, it kind of culminates in a big feel-good message about, you know, being positive and, and kind of believing in yourself. And, Relatable. And for it, you know? Relatable with a I positive so, message. Yeah. Remind us. When are you touring? <laughs> I'm starting on the 3rd of May. 3rd of May. Previewing at the Bayer, St Andrews. St Andrews! Maybe Prince William will come. <laughs> Have I thought of that? Do you think I should invite him? <laughs> and Cathy? <laughs> You never Big know. King, you might come to my show. <laughs> Mind you, you used to kick a boot down there <laughs> or up there. Uh, so, and, and, and I'm going all over. I'm going up to Fintorn. I'm going to Inverness, Aberdeen. I'm so excited to be going up there. Oben. Oben's amazing. I so love Oben. You're going to get the boat over to Oben. It's amazing. I should. I should. And I should sing on the boat. You should, I. Like I'm in Titanic. Aye. No, that's not, that's not a good idea. I'm <laughs> Titanic on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate. Can you imagine standing from the boat to open? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, but yeah, uh, and then I go down to Edinburgh, um, Glasgow, of yeah. course, Greenock, um, and then I'm going down. I'm in Largs, Kilmarnock, with the Dutch and then I'm going down to Dumfries, and I finish in Inverness, which is lovely. The lovely Eden Court up in Inverness, beautiful big venue. So I'm so excited about it. I'm going to bring myself and my pals to see you. Yeah. So looking forward to it, Leah. It's been an absolute joy meeting you this morning, <laughs> chatting to you, hearing all about your show, and also thanks for the exclusive on River City, by the way. <laughs> Leah's getting married on the show. That's not yes. True. That's totally not true. Thank you so much for having me. Love you, Leah. <laughs> you too, pal. Thank you so much. Go, go. Wake up with the greatest hits. You and Cameron in the morning.